get to keep the llamas, but the wandering traders never stick around. It's really sad. I have a wood problem. I think I've got just about every type of wood in this village so far, except maybe jungle. I even have acacia down here. But that's not the problem. The problem is a lot of the wood that I farm, all this hard iron wood, um, my my the sweat and blood that goes into farming all this wood, a lot of it I don't get to enjoy because fence gates, barrels, composters, oh my god, fences, it's all the sticks, it's all the sticks. So I lose all this, this precious spruce and birch and oak and dark oak. I lose it all to sticks. It's unbelievable. So I started thinking, what am I going to do about that? What can I do about that? Well, you know, the answer is pretty obvious. Bamboo. Um, the only issue that I have with that is this is supposed to be a really pretty build and I don't want some massive, awful looking bamboo farm just hanging out in the middle of my medieval village. Uh, and the other option is, mm, hold on. The other option is something like this, and this might actually be, this might be worse than just, you know, a redstone bamboo farm. Look at it. Look at it. It's hideous. It's terrible. So what are my options? Well, uh, the bamboo farm that I don't really want to build. Um, massive stocks of bamboo forests all over the place. Or, what if I could use some of the space I already have? Out of the six buildings in this village, this is the only one with a completed interior. That's it. Everything else is just empty. And I think that I know the right place for this job. The warehouse. So, this place, it's, it's massive number one. And I mean, what better place to store your wood than in a warehouse, right? So I don't think I'm going to put it in here. I think I'm going to put it in here. It's smaller. Yeah. I, I mean, I get that, but I think this will fit just right. So let's see if we can't figure out a design. Step one to designing a bamboo farm is the Fox relocation program. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's number one. I've got so many foxes in here. They're just super cute. I can't, I can't see my, I just can't get away with them or get, do away with them. Oh my God. Um, I, I can't. So what we're going to do is we're going <laughs> to round up all these foxes. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and we're going to move them, um, back over here where they were originally, but they were always in the way. Uh, that's a problem for future me. All right, foxes, let's do a thing. I think I got most of them. All but two. Oh, 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 they're running. They're running. I'm missing a lead. Uh-oh. Oh, one of them stole it, didn't they? Well, we'll put those ones there for now. And <laughs> do you have the lead in your mouth? Or give me, give, give me the thing. Give me the thing. Look, you have this carrot. Oh, you took the, you took wheat. Nobody, nobody wants to own up to having the lead. You, is it you? Do you have a lead? Aha. Oh, somebody else took it. Aha. Perfect. Oh no. Get back in here. Get back in here. I definitely hit the wrong thing. Okay, come on. Look at him. Sleeping on the bed. So cute. So small. Okay. Step one is complete. So I think if we're clever, we can fit a few farms in here. Um, I'm not sure how many exactly. I... I kind of have an idea laid out in my test world, but this build isn't the same as the build in my test world. I changed a whole bunch, so I'm not sure how it's going to fit or if it's going to fit or if it's going to fit how. 
Um, but we're going to see if we can't figure it out. I think number one, I got to fill this corner. So let me do that real quick. And, um, then maybe we'll get started. And I'm just going to use stone brick because I don't think anybody's ever going to see this. Good enough. The other issue I'll have is if I want to take full advantage of the space, I can't have these bamboo trapdoors on the, on the walls. So I'm going to have to rethink my windows here. And that might be as simple as just using solid blocks for solid glass blocks for the windows rather than panes, which is not the worst thing in the world. I think I've got some glass in here somewhere. Black glass. Perfect. I think that will do. May have to change the design of the outside of this build here a little bit because I used inverted stairs for that. Well, you know, I guess it doesn't look terrible. I think that's fine. I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I think what I've got is a, is a too deep farm and it's going to be tileable. So I should be able to fit one, two, three, three farms in here or three uh, tiles of this too deep um, bamboo farm in here without too much of an issue. So what I need to do is dig two deep trenches um, in each of the, in each sort of second spot. Oops, dogs, dogs and stuff and dogs. Right, I think that'll do. I might even take this one further and go right there. We're going to be exceptionally space efficient with this. All right, so I just have to get some hoppers for the bottom of these uh, trenches. And mm, let's see, so that's eight, nine times three is 27, plus a couple. I'm going to make 30, and I think that will be enough. We'll see. This is one of those times where it would be perfect to have bamboo farm. <laughs> okay, so I need like 30 chests. 25, 25, that's all I have, 25 chests. Well, let's see, see, now I'm using my dark oak. This should be, this is a job for bamboo, definitely a job for bamboo. Uh, okay, 33, we've got 33. 25, 33, I'm sure that's fine. We have extras, um, except that I need a couple more chests. And we'll just put our double chest right there. Now we will go ahead and if I, if I, if I can figure out how to use my keyboard. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh goodness. Okay. All right. We're we're struggling. We're struggle bussing. All right. So we'll just take our hoppers and feed them into that chest down each one of the trenches. Hi, Jaxie Jax. What do you need, baby? Careful of your little noggin. You want to go outside, probably? Okay. Hold on. Oh yeah, five left over. Look at that, plenty of plenty of hoppers. Okay, we're gonna put mud on top of these, which I think I have in this totally perfect storage system. Might be over here. I think I've got like a whole shulker of mud if I can fly. Oh, the lag is real. Look at this. It's perfect. It's my perfect storage system. Ah. Mud. Okay. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is painful. Uh, all right, I'm walking. <laughs> all right, so we take our mud and we go straight across the top of the hoppers. Now I know what you're thinking: hoppers can't pick up through a full block. Well, mud's not a full block. You see, when you step on the mud, you uh, sink down. And uh, so that means that the hoppers can actually pick it up. Ha. Huh. All right. With our mud down, now we've got to design and build the um, machines to kind of harvest the, harvest the bamboo. And we've got a little bit of height here. Maybe not a ton, but a little bit. So I think that we can utilize most of this. We'll go right up to this area here. I'm just going to put a glass roof on the top here. Okay, so that's the glass roof. Eh, maybe I'll get a zombie or something spawning up there now and again. I think that's probably fine. We can we can keep them. <laughs> okay, so on top of each of the stone, I'm going to layer one high of a building block. It doesn't really matter what it is. 
And then on each of those will be a piston. That is not where I find pistons. And why do I keep throwing stuff? I have one piston. Um, that's probably fine. I think I can likely make more pistons. We're going to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times three is 24 pistons. 20, 23, 24 pistons. What? 24 pistons. That's exactly what I said it was. And you just put your piston, your, whoop. You just put your pistons <laughs> facing forward on top of each one of these uh, solid blocks here. And we are all set with the pistons. Now, we need something to control the pistons. So what do we have? Well, um, this is a one wide design or two wide design rather. So it can't be much. I can't do redstone out the back or anything like that. Whoopsies. There, there's a door. It's fine. Everything is fine. So I think the answer here is um, it's going to be observers. And of course I have an abundance of observers. Two. Two is nearly an abundance. All uh, right. I'll work on that. Do we have... So we've got enough, I can make 16 right now, but that just runs out of cobblestone, which we've got more of somewhere. Perfect. I just need like, uh, I needed six. I made two. What am I out of? Redstone. Aha. Perfect. Okay. Um... So I think what we'll do here is find our scaffolding because I think that ended up in one of these chests. Inventory management, am I right? It's a real issue. <laughs> okay, scaffolding. All right, we want to put a block here across every one of those that I can have some observers facing into, which is going to be maybe a little spicy. We'll see. see how much of the roof we have to break to do this, because I think if I put them here, they're going to point up, and that is not helpful. Um, so what if... Okay, all right. I think that did it. Perfect. We're doing it. All right, so we've got our first observers in. Uh, and all of our pistons in. So what do we do with these? Now, that observer's facing the back wall. We're not going to be able to get a redstone signal out of that. But we can by using other observers. So what we'll do now... I don't have enough. I'm definitely going to have, have to make more, but that's okay. We're going to um, use an observer looking at that, and then looking at that, and then we're going to leave that one open. And then we're just going to go through and do the same thing for all of these. All right. So now that's looking a little weird. So I could put redstone on top of here, but then you might lose bamboo when the pistons fire and the, and the bamboo drops. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead, I think what I'll do is use um, maybe redstone lamps. I could do just like you know, a solid block so that one fires at a time. But I think redstone lamps <laughs> has a little flavor, you know? You get some you get some sparkly lights when things are happening. And everybody likes sparkly lights. So we're doing it. I have no redstone lamps. This is fine. Everything's fine. I still can't use this computer. My my keyboard. What what is happening? I don't have any redstone here. Or glowstone here. Do I? Maybe I do. Check the perfect storage system. I definitely do not. That's fine. I think I happen to sell glowstone. I just don't, I don't think I've got much in my store. So <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? <laughs> oh, maybe you know maybe I've got some back at. Can I just do the flat? Really, really, really. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, we're going to try back at the uh, the home base. <laughs> Man, I really don't come here enough. <laughs> Look at this. I love this place. 
my little archaeology uh, ar archaeology camp. Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time with the words today. It's tough. Sure, 26. Perfect. Okay. Now, we'll take our redstone lamps and put them at the bottom of this observer. Right along the row. And we can take our bamboo, plant it right on the mud, and that one is done. I think we've got more bamboo. <laughs> Alright, now as soon as that bamboo grows up in front of the observers, uh, the bottom observers will send power through the redstone light. This is really unfortunate that I'm showing you like this, but it's okay. And power the piston, breaking the the bamboo above the bottom, um, which will be important. Then it can just regrow and keep growing, and I won't ever have to come over here and manually farm anything, which is nice, because those big bamboo forests um, that I've got at the other base there that I showed you earlier, uh, I never farm that. <laughs> so with that one done, we'll throw in a couple pieces of glass right there to clean up that corner. And then uh, we'll start building this next one. All right, now we just have to plant our bamboo. And fill this in. I think right there we're going to go with a stair. That way we can still open this chest. And get my stuff back. And then everything else will be filled in with glass. There we go, and that is that is literally it. I mean, that is a super, super compact um, bamboo farm that we can use to get infinite wood, um, and uh, we don't have to do anything, which is really, really nice. Now, I mean, it's not going to be the slowest or you know most efficient thing ever uh, in my testing. Some of the bamboo did occasionally fall on like the top of the stock, but then the next time the piston fires, it falls off into the hoppers anyway. So I get it in anyway. Um, just not right away, but this way I can use the bamboo for all that stuff that I don't want to use like spruce and dark oak and, you know, all the, all the pretty woods for. And, uh, I think that's really going to make a huge difference in my productivity. Well, you know, I hope <laughs> maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who's to say? <laughs> so I think we'll just throw a trap door over. Um, the end of this chest, and then, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be done here. How about that guy right there? It's practically a perfect fit. While I've been editing the video, I've been AFK at our bamboo farm, and, uh, I'm interested to see in, you know, how much, how much we've done. It's been, uh, I guess, about, uh, two hours. It's 4.13 in the morning, you know, because sleeping is for, uh, people who sleep, I guess. Um, so don't get your hopes up. Um, this is not a fast farm. It's not the most efficient thing, but what it is, is free wood that I don't have to work for. So let's take a look. Yeah. So almost five stacks in a couple hours. Um, I spent a lot of time here, like a lot of time here. I'm building so much. So this is really going to add up. It's really going to make a difference in the amount of stuff that, or the amount of wood that I don't waste on chests and, uh, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's small, it's compact, it fits the space, it makes some sense where it is. I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with this. And that is where I'm going to leave it today. Don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.